Okay guys, so let's find the derivative of a certain function and let's first do this by hand and then we're gonna go and do it in PyTorch and we're gonna see if we can get the same result. So let's first uh, get the derivative by hand. We're gonna use the power rule. Okay, so we're going to subtract one from the exponent or bring the exponent to the front, multiply, and then subtract one from the exponent. Okay, so we'll just end up doing something like um, 3, 8, and then x squared. This will be plus uh, 2 by 5, and then x, and then plus 4, and then we can just scratch out those, uh, those loose terms there. So the 9's out. Now... Uh, let's simplify this. So we'll say 24x squared plus 10x plus 4. Okay, so we simplified this. We found the derivatives of each of the terms. Uh, when you have a constant, you just discard it. Okay, so there's a name for that. I forget what it is. But anyway, um, now what we can do is find uh, the value of our derivative function with respect to to some variable. So let's, for example, use, uh, let's just use three. So we'll say f prime of three is going to end up being, we're just gonna plug in, or we're just gonna substitute x for three. So we'll say 24, whoops, three squared plus 10, three plus four, okay? and uh, when you simplify all that, you get, uh, hold on, let me pause this and do this. Okay, so you get 250. Now, this tells us that the rate of change of y uh, with respect to x is 250 if x is 3. Okay, so if x is 3, the rate of change of y with respect to it is 250. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do this in PyTorch and see if we can get this same result here. By the way, if it was a little confusing how we got to here, I'm gonna link a video by uh, Nancy Pye in which she describes how to do this uh, far better than I ever could. Okay, so you'll see that link in the description. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is define the value that we want to uh, compute the derivative in, uh, in regards to, in this case, 3, and we're going to do it in a way where the autograd on PyTorch starts basically tracking, starts recording uh, operations that we're going to need for differentiation. So you're going to say it requires grad true. Okay. Then you're going to define the function that you want to uh, compute the derivative of. We did this by hand. This is that same function. It's just in like python -y form, so you see your exponents are um, like this, two asterisks, and that's basically it. Then we're going to call y dot backward, which will compute derivatives of y with respect to x, because uh, if you recall, we did the requires grad true. So if you start tracking on all, on all uh, operations in which at least one of the parameters has requires grad true. Okay, so that's important to remember. And then uh, basically all of these get accumulated into this dot grad uh, attribute and you can then run that and see what's in it. So let's run that over here in Python and we'll see if we got the same result as when we did this by hand. So we'll say Python derives dot pi. And there you go. So that was pretty cool. We just computed a derivative with PyTorch and it was a lot of fun. Uh, PyTorch does like all this stuff in the background. Different, it does differentiation or like automatically all these calculations, which is super awesome. Um, uh, so I'll leave it right there. I hope you guys at least learned a little bit of something. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. If, of course, if I made any mistakes, please correct me. Um, I hope it helped out a little bit. Thanks for watching. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.